Buenos días. días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Todos están presentes. Everybody's here, right? Okay. Okay, vamos a empezar con uh, qué día es hoy. Uh, déjeme ver. Número 5. You have 5, 5. ¿Qué día es hoy? Hoy es martes, correcto. ¿La clase puede aplaudir? Muy bien. Bueno, ¿quién, ¿quién quiere contestar? ¿Cómo está el tiempo? Levante la mano si quieren contestar cómo está el tiempo. Josh. Está nublado, correcto, clase. Muy bien. El tiempo está nublado. ¿Y qué día fue ayer? Uh, ayer fue lunes. Ayer fue lunes, correcto. OK. Uh, bienvenidos a la clase de español. Vamos a empezar. This is los objetivos. Hay tres objetivos primordiales en la, en la clase de hoy. Three, uh, the first one is you, I wanted to you recall vocabulary that we learned in, in the past the hints that we learned, the mnemonics, the grammar uses. Of course, we're still in imperfecto, right? And the next objective is going to be, I want, I want you to talk about your childhood. I wanted to know about yourselves. And I wanted that you do your oral letter and writing. And the third objective, I want, we're going to read a story. And we're going to do a lot of predictions, interpretations, and we're going to comprehend what's happening in the story. So, okay? so that's the three things. Okay. Any question? Alguna pregunta? No? OK. Vamos a empezar. Esta es la agenda. Y básicamente, en la agenda, basically in the agenda, it tells you everything that we do. Okay? So uh, everything that I told you in three things is in there. Uh, los ejercicios orales, los objetivos, uh, everything that we're going to do, we're going to go step by step. And when we finish one section, I was going to tell you we finished and if we did good or bad. So that way you know, okay? And of course, we're going to finish with a, a little bit again, if the time allows us, because we don't have time, then we're going to be able to, to short it out the class. Y en la conclusión, que es la salida, el éxito donde ustedes van a tener que escribir your, your exit note. Okay, so let's go start with the hints. Recordando, vamos a recordar. Uh, hablábamos del imperfecto, right? If you look it up in your table, in la mesa, you have a lot of cards in there. So uh, including in here. So go ahead and dig in your little boxes. Uh, let's go find the hints. Let's go see if we have hints in there. In each table, you have verbals, and you have this little, they have a lot of hints in there. So I want you to tell me some hints that you have in there. Uh, the hints are, are clues, right? Words that's going to determine if the tense that we're learning in Spanish is in, imperfecto or preterito, right? So let's go see uh, anybody. Uh, a veces. A veces, correcto. Uh, we also learn mnemonics, right? Why are we learning mnemonics? Could somebody explain us why we're learning mnemonics? We learn mnemonics in order to. Um figure out like in order to give a tense, in order to give us clues as to what we need to do or what we use it for. Correct. And it's, it's the, the every, any help that we can get to, to learn the tenses is very important because everything, all these words are new for us. Okay. So that's, and what is the mnemonic that we learned for this tense? We learned Dr. LeWitt. Very good. And, and we also learned grammar, right? Sweet. And we learned vocabulary. So let's go start with the hint. If you have a hint, Go put it in the, in the car where the hints is there. So you, you have a, a tape in there, and just put it in next to or close to. It's OK, you have the tape. See where they say hints? OK, you put it. We have three sections in here that we're going to, this is our memory back. OK, whatever we already learning is going to be in there. This is what we learn. Hints, mnemonics, uh, grammar, which is the endings of the verb, and the chapter vocabulary. Okay. Now, Dr. Rewick has been helping a lot for us, right? And like Josh was saying, there are words that help you to bring back memory, more information. So let's go see. You have Dr. Rewick. One, uh, one person has one of these cards. So go ahead and put it in there. We're starting with this table. Okay. So anybody in this table that 
the have a car, go ahead and put it in the cor in correct place. Where it belongs. You have to put it where it belongs. When you think it belongs, okay? So be sure that you put it in the right place. And they little have the little stick in there. Okay. Anybody else has the car? So what is the mean? What is this Dr. Lewitt? And we have this um, classifications. That means the, anybody want to answer? I'm pretty sure that means um, whenever you're describing something, you're talking about repeated action in the past, that's when you're going to use the imperfection. Very good. So when you start talking about the past, we have two past, remember, we have preterite imperfect. You need to think, okay, what are I going to say? They are going to say timing, then I have to use imperfecto, Dr. Lewitt. If I'm going to tell my emotion, then I'm going to use the imperfecto, okay? So this is kind of help it out. So we have that, we have the hints are very important. They have your Dr. Lewitt, and now we, the conjugation. So anybody who have a conjugation, go put it in the right place. So you cannot speak if you don't have verbs, right? You can, you can point things, but without a verb actions, you cannot say much. So go ahead and put it in there. Okay, so uh, this is the end, right? So if we're already familiar that with this end. See, we, I give you a verb, you create a conjugation with these patterns. So what happened with this arrow? It shows that it's in the beginning Okay, so that end then belongs in both, right? So that means I'm going to use the same end as for first and for third conjugation, right? So I'm going to have a problem then when I speak, and how the person know if I'm speaking in first person or in third person? You know based on the pronoun that you use, if you use el or yo for whatever you're using or any other version of that. Correct, so that means that when you speak, you have to mention that pronoun, the name or the subject pronoun, because you know the people will don't know, okay? So very good, muy bien. Um, so we have all this our review correct, correct, all right? So um, as you can see that you all know that, but we need, I need to prove a little bit. So how do we prove it? General, it's short quiz, right? And I'm going to give you a short quiz. This uh, conjugation is going to tell me that I can move on a little bit more. So we know that we're going to use imperfecto with Dr. Lewitt. We know the endings. Oh, they're asking you is to identify the verb. This, they're giving you the conjugation, so I wanted to know the name of the verb. It doesn't matter if you don't know. Okay, so you don't know, just leave it in blank. So right under the uh, blue box, what verb is this coming? If you can, put the meaning of the verb too. Okay, so for example, in this case, Pablo era un buen chico. Ayudaba is my word. So what is the infinity, the verb name of this, and I wanted to know the meaning. Okay, so that will help me to know that you are aware of that verb and you'll be able to figure out that sentence and what it means. Okay, vamos a, a pueden cambiar de papeles, cambian los papeles, change papers. Now, let's go prove if we can continue, okay? So we, uh, that will kind of help us uh, what do you have for ayudaba, Josh? Ayer to help. Ayudar to help, very good. Now everybody, ayudar to help, that would be correct. Okay. So in the second part, second picture in the bottom, so what we have for, for this verb? Tener to have. Tener to have. So we're going to go to the next one. Um, number seven is jugar is to play. To play, very good. We had to jugar, right? So that was correct. We're going to move to the next picture. And somebody else who didn't say before, Esteban, could you? Hablar to speak. Uh, which one? Number one. Uh, no, no, no. Anybody? This is a new one? This is a bear, correcto. It's a bear, okay? And a bear is one of the verbs that's going to be very important when we talk about imperfect, okay? That's a bear. A now, for the next one, anybody else? Raise your hand, you want to answer? Um, next one is ear, it's to go. It's to go, muy bien. And we are left with the last picture in there. Anybody who want to answer? Ser to be. Okay, muy bien. And el, the last one, anybody uh, who didn't try, okay? Or is trabajar with Trabajar, correct. Okay. 
So very good. So let's go. Uh, applauses. So you really master that thing. You, you master the knowledge of the grammar, identify your verbs, know the meanings, and you did really good. So you uh, pongan los papeles juntos, give it back to them so they can see. Uh, it is very even. Everybody know everything. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to pick up the paper so you can give it to me. Pongan su nombre. We know this is the past knowledge. We know. I prove it. So uh, you know yourselves in there. And now we're going to move on. Then uh, we basically master the first objective, right? The first objective was to um, identify hands, mnemonics, grammar, constructions. And we move into the second part. We, we're going to now go back to the vocabulary who's going to help you to master the second objective, which is writing. And, to, and write about, uh, I wanted that you write about your past, okay? What you t used to do when you were a child. So let's go review the vocabulary. Saltar, saltar, everybody is saltar la cuerda, right? Uh, what is the next one? Let's go see if I can move it in my arrow. What is jugar con muñeca? To play with. Play, play with dolls, so jugar, aquí. Play, play, play sports. Baseball, so sports, correcto, and aquí. To climb, to par, very good. And jugar, again, jugar. Con muñecos de peluche, right? Beber, because he's playing it here. To drink and correr. And practicar. Practice. Okay. So you're going to use these vocabularios to tell me about things that happened in your childhood. I also give you some verbs in there in case you wanted to pull more. Okay, so, and that will bring you to the second objective that we're going to m try to master, which is what? To be able to write, right? Communicate by writing. And I want you to tell me also speaking. So let's go do the, the second one. Everybody, I want to write, uh, let's go see, we're going to write one sentence. Everybody write one, in, in group is four. One sentence about something that you used to do in the past, okay? Uh, repeat, if you need vocabularios, use your vocabulary pictures in there. Let's go move a little bit quickly because uh, we're going to go to the third objective. Now, recording, remember, then what tense it has to be writing? Imperfecto. Of course, and imperfecto. Why? Because it happened in the past, right? And it, happened, and it has to be actions that you did many times in the past, right? So be sure what you write in there. It has to be an imperfecto. Raise your hand, you, have, you need more time. So I guess you need more time? Okay, I'll give you a few more minutes. Okay, so the rest, go ahead. If you already finish, look at your chart. I'll give you a chart because I wanted that when everybody do the presentation, I want you to write what they're going to say. So if you finish already, because there are some people still writing, you have a chart like this. Okay, so I'm going to call up, uh, students to tell me a thing, and your job is going to be to listen, put the name of the person, so that way we all find out what you used to do. And let's go start with, uh, with uh, let's go doing by table. Let's go start with Josh. Okay, escuchen. Repeat it, por favor. Yo todos los veranos. Todo el verano. verano. Todos los veranos. Verano. Okay. Pásale a... Yo volaba en papalote a la playa. Repite más alto, por favor. Um, yo volaba en papalote a la playa. En la playa, okay. Yo volaba en papelotes en la playa. El siguiente. Pásale a, a Esteban. Esteban, ¿qué, qué tienes tú? Yo andaba en bicicleta. Yo andaba en bicicleta. Okay. So I, I, if you have a picture, if you didn't use the picture, that's fine. But if you use the picture, please come to the front and show the picture. Okay. So and, and I want you standing in here so we all see. If you don't have a picture, just stay in the table. So anybody who wrote center with a picture, I want you can, and you just need only the picture. So vengan adelante. Muy bien. So uh, when we see in the picture, 
we kind of understand a little more, right? The imaging kind of brings back more information. So yo nadaba todo, todos los veranos, yo leía mucho, y yo miraba el horizonte. So if you look at the picture, we can figure it out exactly what they were doing, right? Gracias, pueden sentarse. Okay, so by this, and, um, and I see, I think everybody, be sure to put your name so that way I know that you, you figure out the person. This is kind of like evaluation that would tell me that you really had abilities to understand the words that the people were saying, and I will pick it up. Okay, so I will say, oh, we will say that we master the writing, right? So what we're going to do, applausos. So we're moving on, okay? So we know the grammar, we know the writing, we know how to express ourselves, and now we're going to move to something different. Let's go see what we have in here. We're going to read the story, okay? So, and everybody, now you can raise your boards. We're going to do predictions, okay? And predictions, all the predictions, we're going to write it in this car. So, uh, you can write things, you can draw things, whatever you going to do. Now, this kind of, uh, you probably this, did this in English when you're reading a story, you know? For English language and arts, you have to predict and you have to read a lot of stories. Now, this is Espanol dos. It requires that you little, your skills go a little bit higher, right? So, we're going to read the story. The only thing I know, we know about the story is el mejor regalo para Pablo, okay? And this is Pablo, okay? So you're going to predict in there. What do you know about that title that indicated what will happen in them? It's like you're going to watch a movie. When you're going to watch, you look at the picture and say, well, I might like this, or no, I don't know, sure. So everybody, I want you predicting here by putting names. Uh, you can say uh, Pablo is a, maybe it's a man, maybe it's a, uh, it's a boy, Maybe it's a baby, we don't know. And just create your imagination, you predict, okay? So uh, I will do it, uh, uh, let me show you if, if I will myself, this is what I will do. And this is kind of happening, especially when you are uh, learning foreign language, you have to rely on pictures and drawings, okay? So for example, I will say, okay, well, uh, let's go see, maybe he is a boy. Okay, let me put it, it's a boy. And there, it's un chico, right? Let me put it, chico. Uh, let's go predict together for a few minutes and then I'll let you predict in group. So what we will say about, just mention boards. You're gonna have maybe an older brother because I saw them before there, or someone older than him. Okay, so how do we say brother? Hermano. Hermano. Okay, so I'm going to put all the boy in here, and I go pretend that that's who hermano. Okay, so uh, then what, what, what will happen in the story? Uh, the title is El Mejor Regalo para Pablo. Any word kind of come? Regalo. Regalo. Yes. No, no, not quite. Okay, Josh, Josh wanted to try. I think it's like president. Present, correcto. Okay, so I'm going to put a present. Okay, so uh, that's what I will do. Okay, so you read the story, you kind of bring your imagination, bring all these words that you know, vocabulary, so many vocabulary. Remember, we have sometimes 80, 90 words per week, so bring it back. Okay? So that's what I want you to do. Uh, we, the only thing we know about Pablo is el mejor regalo. Para Pablo. So we know the name. And this is something that you can follow. So go ahead, everybody, start in the, in the body paper. Do your predictions. Put words in there. Together, dark. Hmm? Together. Dark. So we don't okay. have too much time. So I'm going to give you uh, tres minutos. Give him like a top hat. He's, He's here making that. Yeah. Oh, no. Group dos and group tres. Okay. Group uno, 
Group 2, Group 3. Necesito sentences, muy bien. Okay, so time's over, right? So let's go start with group number two. Recording, you can speak more Spanish, try to do so. I know that this is a little bit high skills, and you don't get to that level where we're going to try to push a little bit. You and the level, they're reading, writing, and understanding. We mostly wrote sentences, and we put El Muchacho, Dava, El Bogado, Su Romano, De Mejo, Inti, Am Gabe, the boy gave a present to his older brother. And then we have Pablo, Era, Nueve, Amis, the boy was nine years old. And then we have El Romano, Era, Cuatro, Amis, the brother was 14 years old. And we have like a picture of one giving a present to his older brother. Okay, gracias, muy bien. And um, Grupo número tres. Um, Pablo Reciapa, el regalo es por Navidad. He received a present for Christmas. We think of Pablo Mira a present for Christmas. Okay. We do a Christmas tree and a present right there. Um, okay, move bien. So Christmas is coming up, so that's good. They put something else. Okay, so this is our predictions, right? Uh, let's go do a little bit more um, work in here. Now we get into the hard part, okay? So we are going to speak more Spanish and you have to bring your attention. Now remember you rely on whatever you hear and see and, what, and your back knowledge, okay? So let's go see uh, what we have in here. Now we have a picture, look at the picture. Kind of hard to see it in there, but uh, in the picture we have something else. El perro. El perro, okay? So remember, first we have the title. El, now we have a picture and we have a dog. So it's about el perro. No, no, we have a little bit time for the vocabulary words. Let's, let's go do this little vocabulary word that will help you too. All right, well, I think I know this one. Su madre, I believe, means his mother. Todos and all means all. Okay. Postres means dessert. Okay. And the last one, which is obvious, who wanted to try to do it? I'm not too sure about this. This might be wrong. But I think uh, Wentz is stories. Okay. <laughs> okay, bravo. <laughs> By a simple game, we learned a little bit about the story, right? What was it? With la madre. And then what we have? Vacaciones. Y el cake, correcto. Okay, so we're going to move from the, the game and we're going to get in the story because we don't have too much time. Okay, so now I'm going to read it. Okay, and you going to try to do your predictions and your um, and your board. Okay, so you use a general in in AP Spanish. I want you draw whatever you think it, you hear me say. Okay, it doesn't matter. It could be words or it could be uh, drawings. Okay, so I'm I'm fixing to read it. The say. Everybody escuchen con atención because I'm fixing to read. Let's see. Había una vez un chico que se llamaba Pablo. Pablo y sus padres vivían en Kentucky. Su, su padre era detective. Su madre era cocinera. A ella le gustaba hacer pasteles y postres. Pablo era un buen chico. Ayudaba a otras personas. Pablo tenía muchos amigos. Los domingos, ellos jugaban el fútbol en el parque. Todos los veranos, Pablo iba de vacaciones con sus padres. Los otoños, Pablo y su familia iban a la casa de sus abuelos. En Indiana, su abuelo le contaba cuentos de cuando era niña. Okay. So that was the first reading. Let's go see how is the first reading and somebody tell me in your own words, okay? Well, I heard that they live in Kentucky. Okay, so, yeah. Keep going. I don't know. It's true. On the, all right. Keep, keep going. Uh, the sister likes to draw posters. Um, okay. I think that's what I heard. 
and Pablo has many friends, and they play football on Sunday in the park. Okay, so we don't know that that's correct, right? So that's what uh, Isaac uh, hears. Um, uh, Pablo played soccer in the park with his many friends, and they went to his grandmother's house that's in Indiana, and his mother made like a cake or something. Okay. Okay, so we don't know uh, what Isaac says true. That's what he hear. That's what um, Josh hear, and that's what Lindsay hear, okay? So, uh, and just only by listening to me. Now we're going to rely on something visual in here. And this is the story. We're only going to read some slides. Okay, this is este, el mejor regalo de Pablo. Y Pablo está con el perro. Yo, many of you already there. Había un chico, él se llamaba Pablo. Pablo y sus padres vivían en una casita en Kentucky. Su padre era detective y trabajaba mucho. Su madre era cocinera y le gustaba hacer pasteles y postres. Pablo era un buen chico, ayudaba a otras personas. Pablo tenía muchos amigos. Los domingos ellos jugaban en el parque. Todos los veranos, Pablo iba de vacaciones con sus padres. Y los otoños, Pablo y su familia iban a la casa de sus abuelos en Twathop, Indiana. A Pablo le gustaban los trenes. Su abuela le contaba cuentos de cuando ella era niña. Pablo pensaba que sus cuentos eran más interesantes que ver la televisión. So, uh, let's go answer some questions. So, what I'm trying to do is see uh, your ability to comprehend, right? the story. So you have five. If you're doing in group, everybody could answer one, okay, and put it all together. Uh, there's mean that one person will have to answer two. Okay. 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 okay, when you f when you finish, gather all the papers together, but remember that I want you to do a prediction what was going to happen after, okay? So uh, with all this, if I see in the visuals, you basically got more information, this is the only me reading the story, right? When you read the story, you hear words, broke memory, when you saw pictures, you understand a little more about the story. Okay, so that's the timing. And try to see, maybe you can make one prediction. Okay. Okay, so the story didn't finish, okay? The story will going to continue tomorrow. Okay, this is the answers. Se llamaba Pablo. El chico vivía en Kentucky, and I saw many of you, you have it in there. El chico jugaba fútbol. Los veranos. El chico iba a Indiana a visitar a sus abuelos. Okay, right? So how many did it correct? Levanten la mano. Sí. Levanten la mano, eh? alto, alto. So básicamente todo, right? So aplausos. Porque ustedes... <laughs> so we're going to see that tomorrow. Okay, so uh, para mañana, that's your tarea, okay, your homework. And they're going to have slides, more slides, just like the ones that we, I show you with conjugations, just like the ones that we see in the beginning. And I wanted you to do it, okay? So this is one section. So do it in your own, do it in, in home, do the same process that we've been doing. And find the verb, the conjugations, complete it in that, print it, and bring it to me. Okay, so that's just what you're going to see. And now, la conclusión. So la conclusión involves everything that we've been looking, learning today, right? I wanted that you write it. Let's press it up. Okay, la conclusión is your exit ticket, right? What they are learned, and, and much basically your objectives, right? Uh, what do I learn about my peers today? And, and you, everybody's told something. So let's go see you remember. What did you learn about Pablo? And where the story take a place? So you have about your peers, about this, the character, and the place. That's your exit tickets. Fill it up, be sure they put the nombre, la clase, en el día. Por favor, pongan, escriben su nombre completo. Gracias. Ok, y entonces nos vemos hasta mañana. Adiós. Hasta mañana.
mañana. Hasta mañana. Chao. Chao. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Hasta luego.